Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy and today I am doing my Ofra mystery box or mystery bag unboxing or unbagging I guess that would be. I, I think they are still available but they are $25. If you only order one then it is $5 shipping. If you order more than one or anything else in your box then you do end up getting free shipping. The Ofra does accept discount codes from certain YouTubers so I know Samantha March has one, Trend Mood has one. There's a couple out there that have them and so you can sometimes get deals if you apply it that way as well. I actually didn't apply any of them. Actually they might not not apply to these boxes I just thought about that they might not because sometimes their certain deals are not applicable however on mine because I shop at Ofra regularly I actually had Ofra points there and so I actually got a discount I paid a whole lot less than I would have if I had paid full price so I did get a spectacular deal they did include a free gift in these they include the cleanse it off love your glam also love taking it off wipes I'm not, and I've talked about this before, I don't use these regularly, so I actually have a huge stock up above my laundry of just wipes I have received. I went through two. One I got at TJ Maxx just because it looked interesting and it sucked, and then I got another one in BoxyCharm I used all of. Um, that is it. I typically use them for swatches now. I don't use them on my face very often, so I'm just going to keep this in my filming area for swatches. Put that away. So, I don't know which bag is which, but they do come like this, and I did get one skin and one makeup bag, so let's see what this one is set that one aside so the first thing this is the skincare one i see the cooling soothing brightening peel off mask and does it look like that i'm not a huge peel off mask person i do use them probably equal to my sheet mask but because i have so many of them but i do share them with my 13 year old loves doing them it smells like elmer's glue <laughs> So it's kind of funny it's peel off and it smells like elmer's you remember doing that with your hands where you stuck them together but um i'll give it a try see how it is Next, I have the Ofra After Makeup Cleansing Balm. Oh, I wish I had received this a couple weeks ago. I did, I'll put it in the tags above. I did re review 14 different cleansing balms and cleansing oils. And this would have been great to include in it. So once I try this, I will go put a tagged or pinned comment in that video and let you know how this one works and pin it here as well so you have an idea of how that one works. So the biggest item in here is a Hydra Nourishing Body Lotion. A body lotion for firm and glowing skin. It does look like that. Let's see what it smells like. Well, it smells good, thank God, because it's like up my nose now. Didn't expect that to happen. Um, it has a, almost like a, not perfume, but it is scented, I guess. Is it, I don't know what to connect it to. It's not like a floral scent. It's almost like a spicy scent, but in a good way. But it is scented relatively heavy so you want to be careful I think it smells really good so I don't have a problem with that but if you don't like scents then I would be careful with this one very moisturizing though my arm feels really soft I'm gonna have to use that um I do see another pack of those wipes so again those would be going in my drawer for when I film and the last item is the Talia Mar tea and biscuit C scrub a skin scrubbing vitamin C scrub I've never heard of her before Obviously, it was a collab of some sort, um, but I'm really picky on scrubs because I don't want anything super harsh on my skin. I am 41, going to be 42, so exfoliation is important. I try to use scrubs that aren't super harsh on my skin. Like, I really like the Derma E. I tried another one, the Acura one, and it was way too harsh for my skin. I, like, ended up using it on my feet as a foot scrub because it was so harsh. Luckily, that one isn't very expensive, but it's just the point. So, it will depend on how, like, um big or abrasive the scrub is. So that is the entire skincare bag. This is comes with these Ofra Perfecting Beauty Everyday bags. These are really nice. I'm assuming that they are faux leather just because of um, that's pretty much what we receive now and because of the price but they are really nice and they do hold a considerable amount like the zipper doesn't go all the way open but it actually is almost like a bigger thing down there so it's a pretty nice bag and they are identical bags so we now know the next one is the makeup one i did order two makeup bags in the fall but i did not do a video on it because i really wasn't filming at that point and they were identical so i gave away half of it to my daughter and my son's girlfriend and we all enjoyed it um I received some items that I absolutely love and then I received others I probably haven't used more than once. The setting spray is amazing. Um, the highlighter I got was in retrograde which is a little, I don't know, in spring and summer I might be more willing to use it. So let's see what we got. First of all I see we do have another pack of the wipes that I will have trouble using. So I'm going to put that away. 
And then I do see their setting spray. I like their setting spray. It's called a makeup fixer. This is a smaller one. I think this works really well. It does have a little bit of a scent. It's almost like a chemical scent. So you do, if, you, if you're sensitive to scents, then you do want to kind of watch that. But I think it works really well. And I do think that it helps keep your makeup in place. Next, I see a highlighter. This is the Talia Mar Collab. And it is in Soho. So the box does like the, look like this. On the outside I'm not sure if this will work for me it looks like it could be a little dark we'll see and I love their new packaging their packaging is so chic and it does oh no that I should really use it. it's like a champagne color so I'll swatch it for you I don't like to swatch them if I don't think I can use them it is it's like a pretty champagne gold color not even gold it's like a peachy color very pretty honestly I like that way more than the retrograde Next I see banana powder. Um, I typically, because of my fair skin, I can't use any of the banana powders. They typically just make me look sallow or yellow. They don't actually do anything. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm actually going to send this to my daughter. She lives in Texas and she has deeper skin than me so she can use it. And the last thing I see is a liquid lipstick in Panama. It does look like this. I actually have quite a few of theirs, but my favorite I have right now is Samantha March's release with the topper. Those two combined are amazing. It's probably my go-to lip right now. Not wearing it today, but I have been wearing it a lot. And this is actually really pretty. I don't know if this is going to work for my skin tone, but luckily my daughter and my sense girlfriend don't mind if I swatch so I can try it, see how it looks, and do it from there. So that is the entire makeup bag. And again, I got another makeup bag. I do give these away either in contests I include them or to my daughter and son's girlfriend. So if you like mystery boxes, I hope that you will subscribe, ring the bell. You do have to actually specify notifications if you want to be notified. YouTube is no longer just putting videos in your feed. If you like somebody, you have to choose a notification. I hope that you have a wonderful afternoon.